The only thing that everyone seemed to agree on at today's Senate Budget Committee hearing is that Atlantic City is on the edge of a fiscal cliff. How to walk back from the edge of that abyss? Well, that sparked much of the heated debate at today's meeting. On the agenda, two bills, one to create a tax payment system for casinos and the other more contentious so-called Atlantic City takeover bill. The seeds of this disaster go back 30 years. They go back to the dawn of the casino industry. The largesse, the, the patronage, the nepotism, all the things that have ruined the city have been from one administration to the next, to the next, to the next. And we're at the end of the line now. Senate President Steve Sweeney sat in on today's committee hearing, answering questions and criticism with equal parts patience and exasperation. First off, I do not blame the mayor or council for losing two thirds of the rateable base. I wanna make that very clear. But the realities are we have a government that costs $262 million for 38,000 people. The so-called pilot bill, which would set annual payments in lieu of taxes for the casino industry, has broad support. But Senate Bill 1711, the Municipal Stabilization and Recovery Act, gives the state almost unfettered powers to sell off, dissolve, ignore, break, and generally deny the city whatever it deems necessary to restore financial order. That is proving too much for city leaders to take. They want to parade around the state or to any, any microphone that will pick them up and talk about how bad Atlantic City government is when the truth of the matter is we've had a fiscal monitor from the state since 2010 that has been controlling, hiring, firing, and everything else. Skeptics like Republican Jim Beck, who voted against the bill, caution that rather than safeguarding against Atlantic City's or any other town's bankruptcy, the bill will allow the state to take over any city it deems to be in financial stress. The way it's written now, uh, and as I'm projecting forward as to what could be the future of municipalities in my district and around the state, uh, it, it raises concern to me, so thank you. Chairman, I just want to add one last thing. Sure. If, bank if bankruptcy happens, there will be other communities that will then move for bankruptcy. And if you allow Atlantic City to file bankruptcy, why would you deny other communities in the same fiscal crisis? You know what I'm saying? The bill, if signed into law, will be the statutory blueprint for how the state can take over any city in the future. If local and state elected officials who represent cities like Trenton and Patterson and Passaic and Newark aren't gravely concerned over the provision in this legislation, they should be. The bills moving forward today are admittedly imperfect. And while the takeover may accomplish the short-term goal of forestalling bankruptcy, it has hardened opposition. And critics say, today's vote notwithstanding, they will continue to fight against it. At the State House, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.